Hello beautiful people and welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. I was just thinking to myself like YouTube is such a funny thing. The fact that you just sit in a room talking to yourself like trying to get that energy. You set the tempo. It's weird. It's weird isn't it. But anyway let's get into today's episode. So if you pre the full essentials then you'll know that boots are one of my 10 essentials for this fall winter time or autumn winter time should I say so I thought it might be good to do a video on styling boots and I've got 10 looks for you guys to go through I'm going to break each one down and tell you what I've got obviously I'm going to link all the pieces in the description below so you can check them out and I'll try and link through some alternatives as well for you guys to check out too. And some of the looks are more casual and some are a bit smarter and I'd say with the smarter looks, pair them with some smarter Chelsea boots or chunky boots, not chunky boots, just smarter Chelsea boots I guess with a thinner sole, you know they just have that kind of aesthetic to them rather than these chunky boots that I have here from Zara. When it comes to styling, like in the autumn winter time I think it's always important that your outfit works with or without a jacket because there have been so many times where I'm like damn this outfit bangs with this jacket but then you take off the jacket and then it's just like eh. and then you spend ages like just trying to find another outfit or put items together that are going to work with a jacket so some of the looks I'm going to pair them with jackets and some of the looks I don't have jackets with but it's just to show you guys like how the look can work with or without a jacket depending on the weather because even in the UK right now I'm, we're still experiencing kind of like a warm-ish weather especially for like October time we're getting like 17, 18 degrees I think it was 20 degrees the other day as well so yeah you might need a jacket you might not need a jacket probably will for the evening time because it does get chilly oh, wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight We're going out of ourselves Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing With the wheels don't stop turning I know we're acting stupid Okay, so with this look, let's start from the top. So I've got the Nikki Studios cap on, and then we come down to the gray sweatshirt, which you have seen before, guys. And I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the items you probably have seen from previous videos as well, but at this stage, I don't have an endless wardrobe and I haven't got racks. So it is a bit of a rinse and repeat, but I'm just styling the items with different things and making new outfits, which is what you should be doing don't always feel like you need to buy new clothes but anyway underneath the gray sweatshirt I've also got a white t-shirt and the white t-shirt is from Uniqlo and it's 590 then we come down and I've got these weekday jeans on their space jeans which I think are about 40 pounds um, in this relaxed fit and then we've got the Zara boots and obviously I also paired it with the top man black overcoat too to put this look together so you can see how the look worked without the jacket and then how it looked with the jacket as well and I think it's just a beautiful look like I like the fact that it has so many different colors you've got the white gray the blue and the black as well with the jacket and the boots so I think it's just a nice minimal outfit with lots of color and brightness to it for the autumn winter time Oh, wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight We're going out of ourselves Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing With the wheels don't stop turning I know we're acting stupid All right. 
right next up and let's start from the top again so i've got this beige nike cap which if you've seen previously guys then you know i picked it up on zalando but just have a look around um, i'll see if i can find a similar cap or find that exact cap but i know it was it's very difficult to find again but anyway moving on down i've still got the uniqlo tee on which again is 590 this mango denim jacket and then the black jeans from weekday which are from the women's section and then finish it off with the black boots again guys so i, I do love this outfit like it's very simple lots of colors to it the denim jacket the white t-shirt just sticking out obviously i've buttoned up the denim jacket but you can leave it open just to show a bit more of the white and add a bit more color to the outfit and speaking of color i did add some more color to the outfit as well by putting on the trench coat which i got from arkit the trench coat isn't super warm so it might not be great for the autumn winter time but i think with the weather now in london and the temperature that it's at right now it might work well but obviously feel free to dress it up and dress it down add a few more layers you could even put on a roll neck instead of the white t-shirt which will give it a bit more warmth because the denim jacket and the trench coat aren't particularly warm but i love this outfit just for the colors the tones like i don't always want to be too monochrome when i'm going out i want to add a bit more color to my outfits and that's why the denim jacket the white t-shirt and the trench coat as well as the cap all add those bits of color to the outfit Long hair killer in my villa, bitch, I made it. Hey, hey, hey. Used to play the play, now I think we made it now. She wanna lay me down. I'ma need you to hold me all the way down. Hold it down for me, say you down for me. Say you, say you, hold it all the way down. Hold it down for me, hold it down for me. Say you, say you, hold it all the way down. Say you down for me, hold it down for me. Say you, say you, hold it all the way down. For this next look guys we've got this black nightcap and it's the same as the beige one that i showed you earlier from zalando this time just in black moving down we've got this beautiful polo knitted sweatshirt from zara which i picked up recently and then i've paired them with these cream jeans from arkit again from the women's section and then finished them off of course with the boots so i showed you the outfit without the jacket without the leather jacket that i got from ben sherman and then i put the jacket on as well just to give it that smart vibe that nice aesthetic to it and you could obviously wear this outfit during the day or going out for drinks with your friends like it's just a nice vibe to it and i like this whole outfit just for the colors like the cream trap the cream jeans sorry and then the polo knit which complement each other so well and those tones work so nicely together and then you've also got the black with from the cap the jacket and the boots so it's a beautiful autumn winter vibe but i would the only thing i would say is maybe the cream jeans might not necessarily be for this time of the year but obviously if you're careful with spilling drinks ketchup whatever sources um also rain dirt you know you just want to keep your clean your clothes clean for this time of the year because there's there are many ways that you can get them dirty in this autumn winter time you know especially with a lot of rain and yeah a lot of crap to be honest going around i also forgot to mention that i did chuck in the tote bag too for that extra added color as well but like i said in the previous video i mean for the autumn winter time these canvas tote bags might not be the best so get yourself one of those rains tote bags which are waterproof or just any waterproof tote bag which will protect your stuff during this time long hair killer in my villa bitch i made hey, hey, hey. used to play the play now i think we made it now she wanna lay me down i'ma need you to hold me all the way down hold it down for me say you down for me say you say you hold it all the way down hold it down for me hold it down for me say you say you hold it all the way down say you down for me hold it down for me say you Say hold it all the way down Hold it down for me Shut it down for me so with this next look guys we've got this cream beanie from olive clothing moving on down we've got the white t-shirt again from uniqlo 
this black hoodie from running and then these green jeans or trousers from weekday and i got those in the sale and i picked them up for about 20 quid and then obviously i finished them off with the boots so in this outfit yeah i didn't pair it with a jacket but obviously guys you can chuck on any jacket or overcoat that might work well and complement this outfit nicely and many jackets would complement this outfit nicely i mean it's got nice colors to it and it's a bit darker than the previous outfits that i've shown you but i also chucked in the tote bag to add that bit of color as well and i know i said the canvas tote bags aren't for this time of the year but to be honest not everyone is based in london i know a lot of you guys are based elsewhere so the climate might be different and the weather might be different so just use your discretion and use whatever bag kind of works for you but I think totes are just a great way to add color to the outfit. I mean, you can see it when the outfit's just on its own and then when you add that tote bag and it's got that bit of pop of color, mm, it just works really nicely, but very nice cozy outfit for the autumn winter time. <laughs> so starting on top guys with this outfit i've got this black nightcap on again moving down i've got this beautiful flannel shirt which i picked up from uniqlo and i love this piece so much and then on top i've got this cardigan from weekday which you guys have seen before as well and then i finished them off with these black jeans from weekday the women's section and of course paired them with the boots and I love this outfit like it's giving me those lumberjack vibes like the flannel shirt tucked in the black jeans you know like the the one thing that I might have changed about this outfit to give it a further lumberjack vibe might have just been to pair it with a black denim jacket and then you've got for that full lumberjack look but obviously I paired it with the shirt just to give it that pop of color as well because it was it was quite monochrome throughout and that's the main piece and i wanted the shirt to be the main focal point and really pop out and stand out in this outfit which is why i've paired it with just black items overall but of course you could add a tote bag you could put on a jacket to also add some color and add some warmth you could put on a roll neck underneath as well to give it that even more of a lumberjack kind of cowboy look if that's your style <laughs> First and foremost, guys, I finally got these Arctic trousers patterned, got them taken to my tailor and he's done them up nicely for me. And it's just in time for the autumn winter months. And look at them, they look impeccable. A stunning statement piece and beautiful heavyweight wool trousers. But starting on top, I've got this roll neck from Uniqlo, this leather jacket from Ben Shammer, which I'm sure you guys know that I got thrifted, but you can find so many similar ones on Depop. So have a look there. And then I finished them off with the Arctic trousers and then a pair of boots. But this is more on the smarter side if you're going out for dinner or going out for drinks. So this is where I would say you probably might want to pair them with some smarter boots. It's completely up to you. I mean, the outfit still works well with these chunky boots, but you know, thinner Chelsea boots might work nicely and might just give it that sophisticated, elevated look as well. And to even contradict myself further, I do think this outfit just bangs with the leather jacket. I mean, without the leather jacket, it still looks sick. You still look wavy, but you know, when you take it off, when sorry, when you have it on, it's just like, yeah, you, you look wavy, like 10, 10. And just to add guys, trousers are so important. They're the first thing I'll go to pick 
when I'm building an outfit. And like these ones, they make, they're a statement piece. And obviously, guys, you wear trousers so much, like pretty much every day. So just make sure you're building your collection and getting more pairs of trousers because you can make so many different outfits if you have a lot more leg wear in your wardrobe. Really made an effort, promised I would change, but something stayed the same. Wanted to do better, wanted to be great, but something stayed the same. Alright, so this outfit was a really simple monochrome vibe outfit and no colour to it whatsoever but sometimes you just feel like that and black outfits do bang and it depends on the occasion like sometimes you just might just be in that very monochrome mood so I did want to throw that in there as well and not just always have like loads of color i mean i do like i do tend to like to have a little bit of color in my outfits but i thought this one was quite nice i started with the uniqlo roll neck this uniqlo x jw anderson zipped sweatshirt and then i paired them with these thrifted armani trousers which you guys again have seen before and then obviously finished them off with the boots and it's a nice simple outfit i didn't put on a jacket this time but of course you can put on any of the jackets like I could probably put on the trench coat to add a bit more color maybe even the black overcoat from top man as well the leather jacket might have worked nicely with it too but the main thing for this one is i think there's a lot of warmth like the thickness of that sweatshirt that zip sweatshirt man like it's going to keep you very warm and good layers as well and that might actually be a video that i might do um, down the line like how to layer up to really made an effort promise i would change but something stayed the same wanted to do better wanted to be great but something stayed the same A little bit more color in this outfit. So starting on top, we've got this Uniqlo roll neck again. I mean, I might as well just change the title of this video to styling roll necks. I've had so many roll necks <laughs> in the last few looks. But anyway, I've got this Zara oversized shirt, this white shirt, which I think is beautiful and I love this purchase and I haven't worn it enough but I'm definitely going to be wearing it now and the whole aesthetic of this outfit is definitely on the smart side again and I would say if I had like a, a really smart pair of Chelsea boots then like it would obviously elevate this style so much more and I could pair it with a leather jacket or even an overcoat to add another layer and just to elevate that style and make it even more of a smarter vibe but moving down i pair them with these beige cold laundry trousers and like i said guys trousers are the statement piece and i love these trousers so much but i am a little bit hesitant like with the cream jeans to be wearing cream slash light colored trousers during this time of the year just because like i feel like they might get dirty it's going to rain a lot but obviously for everyone else that's not based in kind of europe area then you know cream trousers will probably work for you most of the time of the year but it's up to you guys and it's down to your discretion whether you want to wear these light colored trousers during these months because you know i can't i can't blame you if you want to do so because it does just add that pop of color and give it that tonal vibe as you can see here This is probably one of my favorite outfits because I just love the tones, the colors of it. I think it just all works well and it just comes together quite nicely too. So 
On top, I've got this Uniqlo t-shirt again, which you've seen throughout this video, of course. And then I've got this lovely Ralph Lauren corduroy jacket, which I picked up on eBay maybe about five or six years ago. And I, I, to be honest, I haven't worn it a lot. Um, and it's been in my wardrobe for a long period of time, but I definitely am thinking about wearing it because it's got that sophisticated vibe. It's a very, very rare piece and I haven't seen anything like it. It might not be the best for the autumn winter time just because it's a corduroy jacket and it will get wet but you know i do think it is an autumn winter jacket for the fact that it's so heavyweight and so warm like it doesn't really work well or it doesn't make sense for me to be wearing it in the summertime so i might just bite the bullet and just start wearing it as much as i can because i was scared to get this jacket dirty moving on down i've got these brown trousers which i picked up on depop for about 10 quid and I can't remember the brand of them, but I think like it's quite an expensive brand. And I'm just shocked at the fact that I picked them up at such a steal and look how beautiful they are. I mean, I think they're a beautiful pair of trousers and I've worn brown trousers for a long period of time. But I think this outfit is a really smart vibe and you could make it smarter by replacing the t-shirt with a shirt, for instance, you know, replacing the boots with a smarter pair of shoes or you could even pair them with trainers, like I've said previously. Who says black and navy can't work well together? I mean, this outfit is a clear example of the fact that they can work well together and it does look good. So for those people that are against navy and black as a combination or pairing them together in an outfit, you know, like, yeah, here's an outfit that works. <laughs> but anyway, guys, so starting on top, I've got this Uniqlo U shirt, which I picked up in the sale and it's kind of like an off-white color. Um, hopefully it does show, or you can kind of see that it's not quite the same as the white Zara shirt that I had on before. On top, I've got this navy knitted sweatshirt from Zara, and then I've paired it with these black thrifted trousers from Armani, and then the boots. Again, I would class this in the smart category because I've got the shirt, the knitted jumper as well. And yeah, I think it, it makes for a nice vibe, nice aesthetic. And like I've said previously, guys, obviously if you've got a smarter pair of shoes, yeah, I don't even know why it didn't say shoes in the first place and I've always been relating them back to boots. But obviously it doesn't always have to be smarter pair of Chelsea boots. You can wear them with loafers, even trainers if that's your aesthetic. Like if you're not a person that likes to wear smart shoes, I think I'm just going more in that direction and I don't really like sneakers or I like sneakers. Sneakers? I'm not American. I like trainers, but I think I'm just gravitating more towards smarter shoes. And there we have it guys. Those are my 10 looks for styling boots. And you can dress these up, dress these down, you know, style them with trainers, style them with loafers, whatever works best for your aesthetic and whatever works best for your climate. They're not just for the autumn winter time. Just give it your own twist. And of course, these were just some ideas for you that I wanted to throw out there. But thank you guys for sticking around. I really appreciate it. And thank you for all the love and support that you've been showing me. And I just ask that you just continue to like, share, subscribe, comment in the comment section below because all of these things help me. And of course, follow me on Instagram and follow me on TikTok. And I'm definitely going to be posting more on Instagram with some outfit inspirations. So follow me there just to see what I'm wearing and what I've picked up recently. But as always, guys, much love and I'll see you next time. Peace.